in this video I want to show you how you can collect email addresses with the Elementor form widget and it's very easy to do you can set it up in just a few seconds and in this tutorial I will show you exactly how it's done and to start off over here you can see I have the home page for my website opened up in the Elementor editor and to give you an example I will add a form widget below on this page so let me scroll down now I'll add a new section so I click on this plus icon where I will set it to two columns so now you can see that the section with the two columns has been added to the page and the next thing to do is to go to the widgets overview by clicking on this icon over here in the corner so click on it now we can search for a widget so we need the form widget for this one so enter form in the search bar and now you can select this one the regular form so not the search form but this form widget and you can drag it into one of the columns so let's do that now you can see that the form widget has been added to the column and now if you want to you can adjust this you can customize it completely as you want it to be over here you can see the name the label and over here you can see the that name is also displayed in the search bar so People who visit your website can enter their name, they can enter the email and they can enter a message for this example. If you want to, you can also delete fields. For example, if I don't want the message to be shown, I can just click on the cross icon and it will disappear. And if you want to, you can also add other items by clicking on this plus add item button. So if you click on it, then you see that item number three is added. And over here by type, you can select which type of field it should be. So by default it's set to text, but if you click on the drop down arrow, you can see other options available as well. So it's quite a lot. In another video, I will go more in depth about all the options, but let's keep it simple for this video. So I won't go too much in detail on how to style the form. One thing I want to mention is that if you want to change the names as it's been given right now, so now you see it's name above the field and also in the field and also here you can see email and also in the field it says email. If you want to change that, you can just click on the name of it over here in the options. You can see label, now it's set to name, but if you change this to something else, so let's for example change this to example one. Now you can see that it also has been added over here. I haven't spelled it correctly. Let me change this back to name again. And after you have completely styled and customized the form as you want it to be, then the next thing you have to do to collect all the details that visitors will enter in these fields. If you want to collect those, you have to make sure you have to go to actions after submit. So click on it and you can see by default, it has already been set to collect submissions and also to email. So if you go to the collect submissions option over here below it, click on it. Now you can see collect submissions will be saved to Elementor submissions. So that's basically it. Only thing you have to do now is save this. So I'll save the page. And in the meantime, I will open up an incognito browser. And over here we have the incognito browser. So now if I scroll down, you can see that the widget has been added. I should have added some more space over here and I would do that if I would actually place this on the website but this is just for the example so I don't care much about the styling at this point so let's say I'm a visitor of this website and I fill in the details so I enter a name in this case I will enter website learning lab just like that over at the email I will enter info at website learning lab.com and over here I could also enter in a text for example so let's say test one now I click on send and now over here you can see the message will appear it says your submission was successful so that means everything went well so now if you go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website over here you can see I have selected the elementor options and then the submissions tab so now you see it has nothing because I opened this page before I had saved the settings so this is how it is by default but now if i refresh the page now you can see that the email address has been added to this overview you can click on view if you want to and if you do that you can see all the information that has been added to the field so you can see the name you can see the email and also the text that has been added in the text field that's basically it so just add the form widget to your page customize it double check 
if you have the right settings for the collect submissions option and if you have that then everything will be saved over here you can collect email addresses you can export them all to a csv file if you want to so it's all very easy to do i hope you found this tutorial helpful if that's the case make sure to smash the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded thank you very much i hope you have a nice day and i'll see you back again in the next video